Hey everyone, so how to contact hiring managers on LinkedIn. If you haven't seen my videos in the series so far, we're at the stage where we have a list of individuals on LinkedIn that work in companies that are in your industry, in your hometown, that could be potential hiring managers, okay? Now we have to reach out to them. So how do we do this? There are a number of different ways to do this on LinkedIn. You know, you can use in-mails and there's all kinds of ways, but I'm gonna show you one way, okay? And that's using the plain old fashioned connection requests, okay? Now, LinkedIn allows you to send a connection request to somebody so they can join your network. Uh, they also allow you to send a custom message along with your connection request. And what you're gonna find is that especially for executives, if you don't include a custom message, and presumably you don't know these people, chances are they're not gonna accept your connection request and they're not gonna connect with you. So to increase your chances of your connection request being accepted, you should send a personalized message with the connection request. Okay, so the question is, what personal message do you send? Well, here's the deal. Whatever you send, it's got to be polite. It's got to be insanely polite, okay? It also has to be professional, okay? So no typos, no slang, no grammatical errors of any kind. And it also has to be at least a little bit personable, okay? It can't be very cold and clinical, written like in legalese, okay? Uh, a little bit personable. So balancing those three is very important. Now. One script that I've used for years to connect cold to executives is as follows. Let's pretend that the person that I'm connecting to is called John. I would say, hi, John. I see that we have some connections in common. I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn. Thanks and best regards. And then your name, right? And then, you know, your full name, your title if you have one, you know, letters after your name, knighthood, you know, whatever you got, that's where you put it, okay? Now, I have found that this script, when sending it cold to CEOs, for me, it has had a 30% success rate, okay? So what that means is that if I send it to 100 CEOs, I get 30 of them connecting with me, okay? Results may vary, and it depends on having a few things in advance, the most important of which is having a properly set up LinkedIn profile. Because a common thing that people will do, or especially executives, when they receive these connection requests and they don't immediately know you, is the first thing they do before they accept it is they'll go and check your LinkedIn profile to see who is this person that's sending me this connection request? Who are they? And uh, if there's any red flags on your LinkedIn profile, uh, that's not gonna help you. Incidentally, I've done a video uh, at length that describes how to set up your LinkedIn profile in a very professional way. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description to that. Um, now, if, as I say, that, that's the results that this kind of thing generates. And for all you people out there that work in sales, I kind of hate to say this, but generally speaking, th the fact that you're in sales is going to count against you, okay? Um, it may be perfectly fine if you're contacting a chief marketing officer or director of marketing, director of sales, that's fine. But generally speaking, for most other positions, including CEOs, if they click on your LinkedIn profile to see who you are, and it comes up that you're a salesperson, uh, chances are is they're gonna put two and two together and they'll say, ah, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. They're contacting me so that they can sell me on something and I'm not interested. And they won't accept your connection request. So, if you do sales and other things, for this exercise, I would highly recommend that you just remove the mentions of sales uh, in your profile when you do this exercise, okay? Uh, generally speaking, you will get better results, okay? So, this is the first step to reaching out to these people and tapping the hidden job market. You get them to connect with you, and it's a numbers game. As I said, if the, if the success rate for you is 30%, that means that if you want 100 connection rates for executives, send out 300 of these, right? It's just that multiple. And uh, once they are connected, then we're gonna take the next step, 
where we send a direct message to them that essentially pitches that you're free and you're looking for a job. And uh, we're going to talk about the best way to do that with some scripts. So stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, you are awesome. Take care.